Una Blaster is a lightweight blaster with what would be killing damage in PvP, but in summon run it's 200 for a direct and 140 max for an indirect. That man can show that here. Might be hard to show, but you get the, you get the idea. It's between 100 and 140. What that means is you're not to hit the hits with indirects. You can do as direct one indirect. So pretty much the same vanilla blaster. I'm gonna show the paint pattern here a bit as well. <coughs> it's the usual, not not amazing. And paint zones with it if you have to as a user bomb to help. That'd be fine. Also, yeah, what is definitely not worth is it is a lot more ink efficient than in PvP actually. I, b I believe they've taken the Splatoon 1 ink efficiency here. I'm gonna run. I get it has been like that all along actually. Very surprised to learn that because the only Luna I really knew was in Splatoon 2, the PvP 1. This does not have ink efficiency anymore. Yeah, you have 25 shots with this out of a full ink tank. Just did quite a few of the throwing a bomb even. And the damage per second on this is 300. Which makes it the the highest damaging... Highest single target damaging blaster. We are not counting the Grisco blaster, which is a bit higher still. But still, single targets are not really what you actually want to focus too much on. Lots of lessers are. <coughs> but yeah. If you have to fight bosses for this, then you can for sure. Direct one, indirect for, for eels. Other things with 500 HP. Redirects, of course. Two hugs, just two directs always. Indirect, you can just calculate with 100, so you indirect. If you indirect some character twice from hitting other things, you can direct it and it'll be done. Fun. Fish sticks you can hit from the ground, you need you need to jump up, but it's hard to hit too many of them. Like, like you will pretty much always take at least three shots and it's not unlikely that you might need four. So like this is right somewhere. Yes, as well. Usually two shots. I don't know if one shot is possible, but if it, but if it is, it's very inconsistent and I don't plan with it. Six shots, the usual six shots. Yeah, that covers the bosses, I believe. One one quick word about mobility. This weapon has start up and intellect, of course. Just like you would expect it from a blaster that gets a lot of burst damage. But the mobility on this it's not actually as great as you might think it is. And yes, this is lightweight, so it swims really fast and stuff. Whenever you're firing it's other committing. Like, like it's enough luck that even must can eat you easily when you're not ready. Yeah, be careful with your self-defense here. However, right, one thing that I should also mention is if you shoot at lessers from the right angle as, as in you do not let them get to your side or back or whatever, you're also not standing too close to Kohox, then you're actually invincible to lessers with this. At roughly this distance. If you shoot at them from this distance, they can literally not hurt you, it's impossible. Only a place for day waves though, not for night waves like Rush. So let's talk about Rush. Like like the other blasters, you kinda wanna stand to the side of the stream and then just get into them like that. Try to, try to aim for goldies, of course. You can hit them with you can hit those with direct, it's great. Everything else in direct is completely fine. Brillas Sim similar thing, you, you start out with indirect as the gorilla approaching. Like, if it approaches you from the front, you can like shoot behind it. Deal over 100 damage to it like that. 
And of course, whenever you can direct, then direct as well. And then once it's done, what you what you ideally want to do is get closer to the gorilla than any other teammate, and then direct them. And the small threats will just walk walk straight into the blast and die. Of course, only only do that when small threat control actually has been established. This would be pointless otherwise. I prioritize it highly that the existing small threats are just getting removed. Or you are actually doing this when attacks there. Unless, of course, there's another weapon the comp that can absorb those existing small threats really well. And by all means, go ahead and go for the value. LDC King, a DPS on the gold is okay, so of course. Help with hitting it. The nice thing is, I believe the shots of this cannot get body blocked, so you could just stand behind the teammate and he'll be fine. Yeah, other than that, of course, there's a high priority for you to clear up lessers. Only very few weapons are better than enough for that. Right, that is everything about the night waves and. That's the hole.